Oh, I've got an interesting one for you today. Something that I've been digging into quite a bit recently, and honestly, probably one of the most fascinating research avenues I've delved into ever. It is time to talk about the frontier of biology and quantum physics, microtubules. Microtubules represent a sacred architecture. These microcellular tube-like structures that are made out of protein subunits called tubulins. These form an intricate lattice that mirrors the cosmos's deeper fractal-like designs. Microtubules are not just a, uh, a structural support within our body. They are cosmic conduits functioning on multiple scales of existence. From a unique perspective, they are the neuronal lattice work that creates resonance channels, aligning the material plane of neural activity with the non-material plane of quantum information. Now, this is pretty amazing. Microtubules are structured in a helical lattice that follows Fibonacci sequences and golden ratios, echoing the sacred geometry seen throughout nature, from the spirals of galaxies to the patterns of pine cones. This geometric order is more than just aesthetically pleasing. It might be an essential feature for stabilizing quantum states, allowing quantum coherence to emerge and persist in the brain's otherwise chaotic environment. So microtubules could serve as a resonance chamber where the harmonic interplay between order and chaos births consciousness. They are built from tubulin dimers that assemble in a helical fashion, creating a 13 protofilament lattice with a periodic twist. This helical arrangement could act as a waveguide for quantum information, directing and modulating the flow of energy and data. And this helical geometry is ubiquitous in DNA, galaxies, and fundamental fields, suggesting a universal pattern of resonance that bridges between different scales of reality, from the subatomic all the way up to the cosmic. This alignment could serve as a, a basis for quantum coherence, allowing the brain to engage with information across different layers or scales of reality. The topology of microtubules may support a form of topological quantum computing within the brain, uh, where information is not stored in states that can be easily disrupted by environmental decoherence, but maybe exists in the twists and knots of space-time itself. This concept is inspired by topological quantum field theory. This suggests that consciousness may have access to a non-local memory field, a kind of quantum hologram, where past, present, future are all interconnected in a superpositional state. In this view, microtubules could be regarded as transdimensional bioantennas that resonate with the zero-point vacuum state, the fundamental fields underlying all of existence. Uh, this vacuum state filled with virtual particles and potentialities could be the very medium of consciousness itself, a type of quantum sea where thought, intention, awareness all interact with the scaffolding of the universe. If consciousness is indeed a fractal phenomena, repeating its fundamental structure at every scale, then microtubules may be the biological implementation of this principle. At the micro scale within the quantum realm, they resonate with the macro scale structures of the universe. Consciousness therefore emerges not just as a computational property, but as a fractal expression of the cosmos itself an evolving wave of awareness expanding from the smallest quantum states all the way up to the largest of cosmic structures. If microtubules enable quantum coherence, they might function as a form of biological transducer that connects the human brain with the Akashic field, a term from Eastern mysticism that refers to a cosmic repository of all information, all thought and experience. And so here is where we approach a fusion of ancient wisdom and cutting-edge physics. Quantum field theory introduces us to the idea of the quantum vacuum, an underlying sea of potential energy and information. The zero-point field, often dismissed as mere background noise, may instead be a vast informational field, the Akashic field of modern physics. When microtubules stabilize quantum coherence, they could be tapping into this zero-point energy, drawing from the universal database of all potential knowledge, past, present, and future. 
The concept of non-local consciousness implies that the mind can access information outside the traditional bounds of sensory experience. So if the brain's microtubules create coherence that resonates with the zero-point field, they could provide access to these Akashic records where all information is stored in a holographic manner. Uh, psychic phenomena would then be a natural extension of this connection. Real-time downloads of non-local information facilitated by resonance within the field. And so microtubules could act as quantum mechanical orchestrators, facilitating entangled states that connect neurons across the brain and beyond, perhaps even interconnecting consciousness across time and space and other dimensions. The coherence maintained in these microtubules may act like a, a phase-locked laser system, focusing consciousness into a highly coherent, non-local state capable of transcending classical limitations. Such a system might allow consciousness to access information from higher dimensional fields, what some traditions call the astral or causal planes. Mystical experiences, such as those involving unity with the cosmos, astral travel, communication with non-physical intelligences, these might be reflections of the mind's ability to engage with quantum fields that exist outside of our normal sensory bandwidths. The orchestrated quantum coherence in microtubules could modulate these fields, creating interference patterns that project subtle energy states into conscious awareness. These patterns might explain why altered states of consciousness, whether induced by meditation, psychedelics, or even trance, seem to unlock access to profound non-local experiences. Psychic phenomena like telepathy, precognition, remote viewing, these could all be emergent properties of this noetic field, a quantum consciousness field, that is not bound by linear causality. If consciousness can indeed entangle with other conscious entities or events, it suggests a kind of psi-informational resonance, where minds communicate directly via quantum channels. And this actually resonates with the idea of the einstein podolsky rosen paradox, but it extends it into the domain of conscious experience. Quantum mechanics shows us that particles are not fixed entities. They exist as probability waves, fluctuating potentials that collapse into a defined state upon observation or measurement, depending on where you sit on the skeptical lens. When considering consciousness within this framework, we step into a realm where the mind is both observer and participant in a cosmic dance. In quantum physics, the observer effect suggests that consciousness plays a direct role in determining the state of reality. If microtubules allow for quantum coherence within the brain, they may also enable the collapsing of quantum potentials into the conscious experience. Now, this would mean that every act of perception is not a passive but an active co-creation of reality, where consciousness is the fundamental agent of the universe's self-realization. Ancient mystical traditions from the Taoist yin-yang duality to the hermetic maxim, as above, so below, suggest a, a balance between the analytical mind and the intuitive heart. If we consider consciousness as a quantum mystical process, microtubules might facilitate a, a, a synthesis of heart and mind, where the emotional resonance fields modulate quantum coherence in the brain. This harmony could allow the brain to operate not just as a, a data processor, but as a cosmic resonator, tuning into the greater song of the universe. From a deeper philosophical perspective, we might consider that consciousness is not produced by the brain, but rather is a fundamental aspect of reality itself, much like space, time, energy, and information. This is a pan-experiential view of the universe where every entity from electrons to galaxies participates in some form of proto-consciousness. The ORC-OR, or the Orchestrated Objective Reduction Theory, proposed by Roger Penrose and Stuart Hameroff, provides a conceptual bridge to this view. In this model, microtubules serve as sites where quantum collapse events triggered by reaching a threshold of objective reduction might produce moments of proto-conscious experience. When scaled up to the level of neural networks, these events could weave together a unified field of consciousness. However, this process is not isolated to brains alone. It might occur throughout the cosmos wherever quantum coherence and complex systems interact, not just in the neurological lattice of our biological brains. The holographic principle, suggesting that our 3D reality might be a form of projection from a two-dimensional boundary adds another layer to this idea. 
consciousness in this framework could be a form of information flow across this holographic projection where microtubules act as quantum encoders and decoders of this information. The psychic abilities that we present might then represent a tuning of the mind to perceive and interact with the deeper, more fundamental layers of this holographic reality. And if microtubules indeed stabilize quantum coherence, they may facilitate a biological interface with the so-called divine, a connection point where the material meets the spiritual, where the seen merges with the unseen. This brings us closer to understanding the role of consciousness as a, a bridge between worlds, a hyperdimensional phenomena that transcends the limitations of space and time and matter. If psychic abilities are indeed real, which I think they are, I've experienced things myself, they may represent an evolutionary leap in human consciousness, an awakening to our deeper quantum potentials. Psychic abilities could be understood as the brain's ability to amplify and modulate resonance within the non-local field of information. In this model, individuals who demonstrate psychic abilities might possess unique microtubular configurations or neural architectures that make their brains more sensitive to subtle quantum vibrations. Their consciousness, more entangled with the cosmos, could perceive information across time and space as naturally as others perceive a sunset. And I do think that intuition plays a role. I think highly intuitive and creative individuals, something that Gary Nolan has actually looked at in terms of why people experience things with anomalous phenomena, there seems to be a bit of a connection between people who are highly creative, highly intuitive. Perhaps this is that reconfiguration on a bio-microcellular level. The microtubules in these individuals are orientated or can behave or can be influenced easier than the average person. If consciousness is not bound to three-dimensional reality but can resonate with higher dimensional constructs, then psychic phenomena could be manifestations of perceiving through these dimensions. Remote viewing, for instance, could be the mind's ability to transcend the limitations of linear space-time and access this kind of hollow fluctuating reality the flowing, interconnected nature of all things. The current scientific paradigm is rooted in materialism, and it struggles to accommodate these types of ideas. But I think to fully integrate these concepts, we need a new science that merges the mystical with the empirical. The divide between science and mysticism, it's a false dichotomy. True wisdom lies in the synthesis of these approaches, a science that honors the empirical search for truth while embracing the experiential wisdom of mystical traditions. In this integrated approach, microtubules and quantum coherence become not just scientific curiosities, but potentially keys to understanding the nature of consciousness and the cosmos. If consciousness is indeed a, a primary element of reality, then our exploration of microtubules and quantum coherence and psychic abilities is not just a, a scientific endeavor, it's a cosmic game, a dance, where humanity, as conscious observers and participants, play a vital role in the self-awareness of the universe. In this light, our quest for knowledge is a sacred journey, where each discovery is a step towards understanding this infinite play of consciousness and creation. Ultimately, these claims around microtubules, stabilizing quantum coherence, and in doing so facilitating non-local consciousness and psychic abilities, these are more than just ideas. It's a vision for the future of human understanding, and it beckons us to explore the depths of what it means to be conscious beings in a quantum universe, where reality is, is more fluid, more interconnected, and profound than any current model allows. It invites us to see ourselves not merely as isolated biological entities, but as interconnected nodes in a vast, conscious cosmos. This is a call to the mystic technicians of the modern world, the scientists, philosophers, spiritual seekers, and visionaries to embrace the wonder, to question the limits of what we know, and to dare to imagine what we have yet to discover. In this quest, Microtubules might just be the bridge between the known and the unknowable, the material and the immaterial, the finite and the infinite. And on this bridge, we may find the true essence of consciousness itself, both as a mirror of the universe and a window into the soul of the cosmos. The deeper we tunnel into this terrain, the more we recognize that consciousness is not just a passive observer of reality, but the very architect of its unfolding. What if the universe itself is fundamentally quantum sentient, a conscious, 
self-organizing system that uses quantum mechanics to compute its own existence. Microtubules, in this sense, could be seen as biological terminals within this cosmic computational matrix, enabling human consciousness to participate in the co-creative process of reality. The experience of psychic abilities might simply be our awareness tuning into different lines of this universal computation, accessing probabilities and timelines in the quantum realm. Beyond merely being a, a phenomenon within the brain, consciousness is more than likely an ontological field, a, a fundamental layer of reality that underlies and interprets all forms of existence. Microtubules then become more than just structures. They are, they are fractal resonators within this ontological field, capable of modulating and interfacing with the cosmic mind. From this perspective, psychic phenomena are not supernatural, but are instead manifestations of deep ontological connections that our consciousness has with the universe, with our reality with each other. Imagine consciousness as an interdimensional mind that operates across multiple dimensions of existence. If microtubules stabilize quantum coherence, they could enable our three-dimensional brains to access these higher dimensional informational fields. Advanced physics theories such as string theory and M-theory suggest that higher dimensions exist beyond the familiar four-dimensional space-time that we're accustomed to. In this context, psychic phenomena could be interactions between our consciousness and these higher dimensions, facilitated by microtubular quantum coherence. By combining the latest discoveries in quantum neuroscience with the ancient wisdom traditions that have long intuited the multi-layered nature of consciousness, we begin to see the contours of a new framework. In this view, quantum coherence within microtubules allows consciousness to function non-locally, in alignment with the principles of quantum entanglement and superposition. This idea resonates with the mystical concept that consciousness is both immanent and transcendent, localized within individual beings, yet capable of extending across the cosmos. And I think we stand on the precipice of a new paradigm, a fusion of deep science, advanced philosophy, and mystical insight. The challenge is then to construct a framework that respects the empirical rigor of science while embracing the wisdom traditions that, again, have long intuited these deeper realizations and truths about reality. So we're invited to cultivate a new science, a science of the soul, a science that transcends the limitations of reductionism and embraces the full spectrum of human experience. Such a science would not only explore the mechanics of the brain, but also the mysteries of the mind, the spirit and the cosmos. Microtubules could be the Rosetta Stone that deciphers the quantum code of consciousness. By studying them, we might unlock the secrets of the universe's deeper dimensions and our place within them. So this is not merely a scientific endeavor, it is a sacred journey, a quest for understanding that transcends the boundaries of conventional thought and dares to imagine the infinite potential of the human spirit.